the Sooners and the Blue Demons must enjoy scoring points against each other. When they last met, in the first round of the 2014 NCAA tournament, OU and DePaul combined for over 200 points in a DePaul victory, 104-100. Coincidentally, it was the last time the Sooners dropped an overtime game. Much like that game in 2014, the Blue Demons came out on top Monday in Chicago. DePaul, 1-1, defeated number 22 Oklahoma, 1-1. 111-108 in overtime, handing the Sooners their first loss of the season. OU tied the game at 108 with 13 seconds left after graduate guard Matty Manning went 1 of 2 from the free throw line, but ultimately, it didn't matter. DePaul senior Mary Coleman sank the team's 19th three-pointer of the night at the buzzer to clinch a Blue Demon victory. Coleman had also hit a three to put DePaul up 108-105 earlier in the overtime period. DePaul's hot shooting was the difference maker in the game. The team went 19 of 45 from deep, including 3 of 6 in overtime. Coleman led the team in points with 23 on 9 of 13 shooting, 5 of 7 from deep, while sophomore Moore Kelly Campbell recorded 16 points, 10 assists and 6 rebounds. Despite the final result, there were several bright spots in the game for the Sooners. Senior center Vianis Pierre Lewis, who recorded a double double in the team's season opener, finished with 25 points and 16 rebounds. She was also responsible for seven of OU's 21 turnovers, though. Freshman guard Shina Pellington had a breakout game, totaling 23 points, 9 of 12 from the field, 6 rebounds, and a team high 5 assists. The other two freshmen did not match Pellington's performance, with guard Anna Lanusa tallying 10 points on 5 of 12 shooting, and Big 12 Player of the Week, and forward Mandy Simpson playing only 5 minutes. The Sooners return home to play SMU, 1-0, at 7 p.m. Friday.